Hello, my name is Adam Berle. I'm the creator and author of The Magic of the Essential Oils card or Oracle deck. Today I'm here to share with you what you can expect happening up in the heavens, the astrological forecast and how that's going to impact you and how you can lean into different essential oils to support you during these times. The first significant thing that's going to be happening this month is we have a solar festival. What does that mean? Well, we have our equinoxes and we have our solstices and then we have what's called a cross quarter festival. Or this is when the sun is between or the date is between a solstice and an equinox. For those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, it is the festival of Lunasad. This is the midpoint, the exact midpoint by the day between your summer solstice and the autumn equinox. Although you still have lots of warm, sunny days and it's you know very fruitful and abundant where you are in the Northern Hemisphere, the days will slowly start to come down. And so it's time to start looking at our harvest. What have we accomplished? How can we make the most of that? And how can we share that with other people? It's a really great time to lean in to our, soul, uh, sorry, our sacral chakra because this is about enjoying, it's about pleasure, our sacral chakra, and it's also about creativity. How do we make the most out of what we've done as well? This is a really great time to lean into wild orange essential oil. You can see here on the card from the deck that it's the sacral chakra oil. It's to do with the sun and Leo, which is the symbol here, tells you all about leisure, pleasure and play. Lunasad is named after an Irish god who was a king, he was a warrior, but he's also a musician and a bard and very creative. And this is the time to get creative, get together with friends, make some music, go see a performance, have a bonfire and just share those intimate kind of magical powers or not magical experiences that it is to be alive. Be, I guess, enthralled and be inspired by humanity the people around you and humanity as a whole. And we know that Wild Orange helps us to find more joy and enjoy our lives. You may have been working a lot recently and Wild Orange makes sure that you're having fun while you're working. So a really great one to work with during Lunaside, which is on the 7th of August. Now, opposite to that, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're halfway between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. Although the days are still cold and it's raining outside here in Perth, Australia today, the days are getting a little bit longer. And day by day by day, the sun's getting a little bit stronger. So we're coming out of our hibernation, out of our introspection. And so we're kind of bringing our energy into the third eye chakra. It's a really great time to work with basil, a third eye chakra oil. Basil helps us to get focused. If you look here, it's to do with um, you've got Saturn there, and Saturn's about focusing on what we want to do and making sure that we're kind of getting our next set of goals in alignment. So really beautiful to do during Imbolc. Imbolc actually, which is this festival, translates to mean news milk. We'll see that first kind of signs of life, maybe baby animals kind of popping out of nests and burrows, uh, new flowers starting to come up. So we celebrate that and we kind of live in tune with that. Now, after the festival, whether it be Imok or Lunasad, here on the entire planet will be our full moon. This full moon is in Aquarius. And what happens is not only does each zodiac sign govern people that are born at a certain time of the year, but it also governs an aspect of our life. So for example, Taurus is to do with our money, Virgo is to do with our health, Gemini is to do with our mind, and Aquarius, which this full moon is in, is to do with our humanitarian efforts. How do we make this world a better place? In fact, I like to call the full moon in Aquarius, it happens around this time each year, the light worker moon. This is when we think about how do I allow my light to shine brighter and how do I bring more of that light into the world and make this world a better place? How do I bring more light, more love, more laughter, more fun, more faith, more hope? How do I lift everyone? And so a really great oil to work with here is neroli. Neroli works with that sacral chakra, so we're still sticking in that lunaside kind of energy. But you'll see here that that's the Aquarius symbol right there. So it's also a white flower, which white flowers are associated with the moon. So how do we bring this energy of Aquarius out? Aquarius, if you are an Aquarius or you know an Aquarius, you'll know that they have a very, you know, they're always trying to improve things. They're in their mind and they're like, how do I make life better for myself, for those I care about, and for the world in general? 
There's a bit of a joke that Aquarians already worked out how to fix all the world's problems. They're just waiting to, for everyone else to realize that they're right. So we lean into a neroli around the full moon to think about what changes can I bring to the world? The great thing is neroli is great on the full moon because often on the full moon, we send a wish out to the universe. We're like, universe, I'd like to bring this up or I'd like to bring this into my life, whether it be a new job or a new partner or something like that. But the universe doesn't home deliver. You've got to meet the universe. You've got to send out that intention and then you've got to become a vibrational match to that. And neroli helps us to do that. It beckons us out of our comfort zone. So a really great one to lean in around this full moon in Aquarius. Now, a little while longer on the 24th of August, one of our major planets goes into retrograde. A retrograde is when it appears that the planet is going backwards in the sky. You've heard of Mercury retrograde, I'm sure, but all the planets go into retrograde. And when they do, they actually take away the energy that they normally bless to the Earth. So Uranus, some people call it Uranus, Uranus is about change, about being a little bit quirky. What's really interesting, all the other planets, as they go around the Earth, they kind of go on a spinning top direction, like the sun, like the Earth does. Uranus is more like a rolling ball, a bit of an oddball is this planet. So when he's direct, when he's not in retrograde, he brings little changes, he keeps life interesting. But what happens is when he goes retrograde, we might find that life's becoming a bit stagnant because we're not getting that Uranus energy. So what we wanna do is you'll find this restlessness of things are getting a bit boring or a bit dull or I'm feeling a bit stagnant in one way or another. Now you, this is a time to sit down and contemplate. What changes do I want to bring? If you're feeling unsettled, those that don't start asking those big questions like, am I in the right job? Am I with the right partner? Am I doing the right things with my life? will really start to get quite antsy and there may be emotional outbursts and so on. Here, continue working with Neroli. It's a real supportive one. But we can also work with another oil from the bitter orange tree as well. This is the flowers of the bitter orange tree and this is the leaves and the twigs. Pettigrain. Pettigrain grounds us. It makes sure that we have a strong foundation, that it's clear, so that when we're clear, we know how to go forward. So working with these two from the bitter orange tree, are really, really spectacular. So there's a lot of orange energy. We've got wild orange or sweet orange for those celebrating lunar side in the Northern Hemisphere, and then Pettigrain and Neroli will be really great as well. After Uranus retrograde, our final big astrological thing happening this month is going to be our new moon in Virgo. Were you paying attention before? Do you remember what Virgo was about? Virgo is about your health and well-being. Now, especially if you love essential oils, I would guess that you're probably a relatively healthy person already. So what do we focus on? Well, would you give yourself a 10 out of 10 for your sleep, for your diet, for your weight, for your um, water intake, for the fresh air, for exercise, pain management, all those different things? Probably not. So the new moon in Virgo is an introspective time. Whereas we put out our plans in the world on a full moon, we contemplate what we want on a new moon. So my question to you is, How could you up-level an aspect or two of your life? Maybe you could just drink a bit more water. Maybe you could go to bed a little bit earlier. How do you set those intentions? And so, you know, this is a time for really honoring your body. And cassia, which is associated with, that's the symbol for Virgo there, is really great. It's also associated with the dwarf planet Ceres, which you may or may not have heard of. Ceres is the nurturer. So it's about how do I nurture and how do I love my body a little bit more? And so Cassie is a really great one to lean into around the new moon. So not only can you just work with one oil or two oils around a time, but you can make blends as well. So let's say, for example, that it's Lunasar, and this is the time when we focus on our sacral chakra. So what you can do is we already have our neroli, or sorry, we already have our wild orange and our neroli, which we might want to work with as two sacral chakra oils. And then what you do is you shuffle, thinking about what you know about Lunasite, and I have videos on YouTube if you'd like to know more, and my newsletter and my Instagram will all talk about them. Give this a bit of a shuffle, and then what you want to start doing is start looking for your third, I always like to make blends with freeze, sacral chakra oil. Here we go. So tangerine. So mixing tangerine, wild orange, and neroli would be really great for the sacral chakra. Now, let's say we've got the full moon in Aquarius. We've already got our Aquarius oil in our neroli. So then what we do with our deck is we look for either on this side, a moon or on this side, an Aquarius. And off we go. Let's 
see if you can spot them before I do. Now don't worry if you don't know these symbols because, oh, there we go, there's a moon. So I'm gonna use tea tree. These symbols are all in the guidebook that come along and red mandarin. She's the product of the month if you're in North America this month. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of neroli, take a little bit off the roller. If you get your oil from doTERRA, a bit of tea tree, which means there's a bit of cleansing, a bit of nurturing needed, which we talked about, and red mandarin, which is bringing a bit more joyousness into our life. And that's how you could make a full moon in Aquarius. So you can see we've got Aquarius energy, and then these two both have moon energies by that symbol there. And as I said, there's a guidebook that comes with the cards and that'll tell you all the symbols so you know what you're looking for. And I've got a full video showing you how to make those blends with the QR code in the back of the guidebook as well. So just like when we know the weather, we know what to wear and how, how to kind of step outside. Now that you know the astrological weather, you know which essential oils to lean into this month. Lean into those oranges, the wild orange, the neroli, the pedigram. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, basil's gonna be great around the start of the year and we're all gonna really enjoy cassia for that nurturing around that new moon in Virgo. I look forward to joining you again next month. Take care and blessed be.